chapter 5, verse 31. Him has God exalted with his right hand. Now it says, we're talking about Christ here. It says God exalted him with his right hand. When, when you talk about your right hand in the Bible, it's talking about your strength. See, that's what we do here at Israelite School of Universal Bible Knowledge. We break down the scripture by every piece. You're not like a Christian pastor who just says a little bit of the scripture and then gives you a song and dance. This isn't entertainment. This is for you to learn. We don't preach. We teach. From the top again. Verse 31. Acts chapter 5 verse 31. Him has God exalted with his right hand. We talk about Christ, the greatest man that ever walked the earth. The black man from the tribe of Judah. If God exalted him, that means he raised him up to be what you know today. King on. To be a prince and a savior. To be a prince and a savior. Then go that saving again. Like I said, who, who needs saving in this earth? The people that every everybody hates. Blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, we are the most despised people in the entire nation. In the entire world, no matter where you go, we're on the bottom. They, talk, they call, call us all types of bad words. They call us the thugs. They call us the criminals. But meanwhile, our bus is the biggest criminal that has ever seen this earth. The biggest murderer, the biggest drug dealer. Hey, you could call Nancy Reagan the trap queen. While she was talking about say no to drugs, her and Ronald Reagan were the ones bringing them over. But they call us the drug dealers. They call us the junkies. Don't nobody get high like our oppressor. When you think of getting high, you're, well, one of the times is let's get white boy wasted. Why? Because they get higher than everybody. They're the drug dealers. Keep going. To give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin to give repentance to Israel. We talking about Christ here. Christ is sent here to give repentance to Israel. If you are on this 12 tribe chart, you are the tribe, you are the children of Israel. Blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. We're going to get into it in more description so you know for sure that the white man or 69 is not the true Jew. And it says here that Christ came to give repentance to Israel. It didn't say, it didn't say to the, the, the Moabites, the Chinese. It didn't say to the Ammonites, the, the, the Japanese. It didn't say to the Edomites, the white man. It said to the Israelites. Keep going. That's it. Verse 32. And we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost. Whom God dropped that. Let me get uh, Matthew 5 and 13. Now, we said we're going to have a little bit of pride when I'm bringing out to you that the greatest man that ever walked this earth was an Israelite. Uh, that, an Israelite is a black, Latino, Native American. The greatest man that ever walked this earth was you. He looked like you, black man, Latino man, Native American man. You should be prideful about that. It's so much that we can do. You think about it, they do everything we do and steal everything that we do for centuries. You got that? Keep going. Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. Ye are the salt of the earth. Yeah, I just brought out how they steal everything that we do. The Lord saying here that we are the salt of the earth. The earth will have no flavor Without you, black man, Latino man, Native American man, right. the earth wouldn't have no flavor at all. If you don't have salt, it's going to be bland. You can look around. You can see how flamboyant everything we do is. They steal our styles, our dances. They steal the way we move, the way we walk, the way we talk. We come out with a slang word. They, they act like, they, oh, that's ghetto. But 10 years later, they doing that. They talking about that same slang word. They doing that same old dance. When the dance is old, that's what they doing. Why? Because we are the salt of the earth, like the scriptures say. Without us, the earth would be black. So you should be prideful, black man, 
Latino man, Native American man, because this earth would be ever so born if God didn't choose you and give instill in you his image and make you like if you weren't the children of the Lord, this this world would be born. That's what the scripture is saying. Read that again from the top. Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? Now, now it's talking about you, black man, Latino, Native American man. We the salt of the earth. We got all the flavor. We teaching them everything that they need to do, that they stealing. They copying us. But we want to be like them. We want to smoke their drugs that they put in our neighborhoods. We want to be murderous like them. We do everything that the heathens do, but we lose our flavor when we do that. That's why we're on the bottom. That's why we're on the bottom. Because we're not acting like the salt that we, we were given. We want to be like them. We want to be bland like them. You got any more on that? Keep going. It is this fault good for nothing but to be cast out. Down. To be, it's, it, if you lose your flavor, black man, Latino, Native American man, trying to be like these heathens, we'll be just like we are right now. Cast out. The ones that they talk about and that they despise. Everything we do that they despise it. Little do you know they, they, they check it for you though. Ten years later, they're doing that dance, like I said. They want to talk how I slay. They want to do everything. But us trying to be like them, that allows them to keep us on the bottom where we are way better than every other nation. Way better than every other nation. From sending them to the moon, they had to come in black women to send them to the moon. They made a whole movie about it. From everything that we do, from, from swimming, to basketball, the, the, I just talked about intelligence. Everything we do is better than them. Can be proud for that. You don't be like these heathens. Don't celebrate their gods when you celebrate their Christmas and their Easter. Easter. If you look up Easter, there is a statue of a pagan idol that you're worshiping. You're not worshiping. It doesn't have anything to do with Christ. Easter has nothing to do with Christ. Look it up. There's a statue of a woman with crow feet. And that's the God you're worshiping when you worship, when you celebrate Easter, a holiday where a bunny lays eggs. A bunny does not lay eggs. The Christian church makes you so stupid. It's so simple. Anybody can tell you that a sheep know that a, a bunny does not lay eggs. But that's what you celebrate. You're celebrating pagan holidays. When you, when you go along with their pagan holidays, you're losing your soul. You're allowing them to put you on the bottom. Because why? Hey, they celebrate now, gods. We can put them on the bottom. Give me uh, Matthew 15 and 24. But meanwhile, while we while we on we on the bottom, all the time we were supposed to be on the top. And our leader, our leader, our king, our Lord Christ, came to, came only for us. You got that? Matthew. Chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And this is Christ talking to the disciples. And he said, when you go out, don't go out to them heathens. He said, go to the lost sheep of Israel. These people on this board right here, these 12 tribes of Israel. If you fall on this board, Christ said, go to you. He told the disciples to teach you. He didn't say go to the heathens. Take that to, take that from the top. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And he said, and the reason why he even had to say lost sheep is because we are a lost people. Like I said, we got all we, we got all the flavor in the world, but we want to be like the heathens. We want to celebrate their holidays. We want to wear what they wear. We, we, we act like we need their money over our own brother. We want to abort our babies because his philosophy that your body, your choice. We're going to take his drugs. Why? Because we're so depressed. 
because he didn't, he didn't had us on the bottom so long. You just try to have a little bit of a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, little peace in this this hellhole that we call America. But we are lost people. That's why Christ told the disciples, "Go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel." Keep uh, keep going. Verse forty-five. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, "Lord, help me." Now this is a Canaanite woman. A lady described as a, a white woman that came to Christ for help. Drop down to verse 20, 28. Matthew chapter 15, verse 28. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very Sit up, sit up. Verse 26. Verse 26. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and, and to cast it to dogs. Now right here, Christ is telling this white man that came, white woman that came for help. This is the same Christ that you 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 see and you think of with daffodils and peace signs and that love everybody that the Christian church. Uh, teaches you. Christ is telling this white woman, why take, Why would I help you and take food off of the children, the children of Israel's plate, and cast it to dogs? Christ called this white woman a dog. Now, everybody, everybody on the planet gives praise to Christ. Nobody bad mouths Christ, but what Christ is calling this white woman a dog. When he prays, he tells this white woman that she is not on the same level as you, black man, Latino man, Native American man. You should be prideful that the greatest man to ever walked this earth is telling a white man, a white woman, that she's a dog. Where she, he's telling you, don't take the, he's telling you that he's not gonna take nothing off your plate to feed her. Drop that. Give me Deuteronomy 76. I keep telling you. The greatest man on the, that ever walked this earth said it. Now you're going to hear it from the Lord to tell you, black man, Latino man, Native American man, how special you are. That you are the greatest people that ever to walk this earth. You got that? Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people. Thou art a holy people. Holy in Hebrew is the word Kadash. And Kadash means separate, set apart. The Lord saying, you black man, Latino man, Native American man, you are a set apart people, set apart from all these heathen ways. He didn't want you to mix with all these heathens. Keep going. Unto the Lord thy God. That's real possessive. Lord said you are a set apart people unto himself. Black man, Latino man, Native American man, should be prideful that the Lord chose you you are God's chosen people. Keep going. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. Now the Lord said that he has chosen thee. Talking about you, black man, Latino man, Native American man. And if he chose you, that means he didn't choose anybody else. If you choose something, that means it's something you didn't choose. Keep going. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. To be a special people. Like I said, salt of the earth. We do everything better. Everything better that you could possibly think of. The Lord made us a special people of everybody. And you know, when you out the boat, when you look at uh, these heathens, what do they do that's special? Nothing. They copy what you do. Keep going. Unto himself. Unto they that possess, that's possessive again. The Lord said you are chosen people special unto himself. Why? Because we are the Lord's children. And the Lord is going to get everybody about his children. Unto thyself. That's possessive. The Lord claims you, black man, Latino man, Native American man. He says you are special. King of above, under, above, equal to. 
I'm born. This is our constitution right here. You know how the constitution say that all men are equal, but we were in chains when they said that, when they wrote that. This is our constitution. Stop it. Above all people, above all people, tell me. Above all people, above all of the Asians, above all people, equal to the white man. Above all people, on the bottom like we are, y'all. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Black man, Latino man, Native American man, that's the Lord telling Moses to tell you that you are above all of the people on earth. Once again, if you can't have pride in that and stop doing what the other heathens do, when we stop doing what the heathens do, we won't be on the bottom and we'll be above everybody else like the Lord said we're supposed to be. They already look at us and say they, can't, they know they can't be like us, but they keep us down. Why? Because we're serving their gods. We're eating unlawful food. We're doing unlawful things to break up our households. They already know this. That's why they put in propaganda so that we don't follow our God. But when we come back to the laws and statutes in this book right here, we'll be above all nations on the face of the earth. Give me... Give me Ezekiel 16 and 8. And when he made us, and when he chose us, and made us a special people, he didn't just do that. He, he sprinkled the Lord something on us. He made us, he not only made us our abilities special, the way we talk special, he made the way we look special. You got that? Come on. Ezekiel chapter 16 verse 8. Now, when I passed by thee and looked upon thee, behold, that time was the time of love. And I spread my skirt over thee. And the Lord saw us, and, 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 and it was the time of love. He seen us in our downtown, and he spread his skirt over us. That means he, he gave us cover. He gave us protection. Keep going. And cover thy nakedness. Cover thy sin. Keep going. Yea, I swear unto thee, and enter into a covenant with thee. And once again, there it go. It, it, it's only for us. God loves us. A covenant with us. Not a covenant with anybody else. But we're going to get to that. Keep going. Saith the Lord God, and thou becamest mine. There it go, possessive again. The Lord claims you, black man, Latino man, Native American man. He claims you. He's not claiming anybody else in here. Keep going. Verse 9. Then, then wash thy thee with water. Yea, I thoroughly washed away thy blood from thee. He thoroughly washed away our sin. The blood will be our sin that we were covered in. The Lord took us, seen us, he, he, he had love for us, gave us protection, and cleaned us off of the sin of us following these heathens. It's what we need to do today. We'll have the same protection and be cleansed again if we stop doing what America does. Stop following America. As you can see, they don't like you. Keep going. And, and, I anointed thee with oil. Verse 10. I clothed thee also with broidered work. Here come, here, come the, here come a little bit of drip. The Lord about to tell you how he made not only made us better in ability, but he put that drip on us. That, that drip that they noticed that they copy all the time. Keep going. And shod thee with badger skin. And I girded thee about with fine linen. With fine linen. You know, you ever heard that? You ever heard, like on uh, Men in Black, when Will Smith put on the same suit as the white dude, and he said, I'll make it look good, though. Everything we do, we do it better. We wear the clothes that they make, that they manufacture better than them. We got drip coming from hand to toe. And this is the Lord telling you that this is how he did it. The Lord made us drip. He put the drip on. Keep going. And I covered thee with 
silk. Verse 11. I decked thee also with ornaments, and I put bracelets upon thy head. Here come, here come, the, here come the bling note. Here come the shine. We all, we not only got the drip how we wear the clothes, here come the shine. So when you see a young black man, Latino man, Native American man, and they covered, they got the chains on, just know that's not him being, uh, 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 trying to be something he's not. The Lord made us this way. Right. And a chain on thy neck, and a chain on thy neck. This is what the Lord put on us. Bracelets on our wrist, chain on our neck. Stop talking about us like we wasting money. This is our spirit that the Lord gave us. Be proud of everything that you are, black, Latino man, Native American man. This is how the Lord made us. Don't try to be like the heathens. Keep going. Verse 12. And I put a jewel on thy forehead. I got a jewel on my forehead right now. And when the kingdom comes, this whole crown is going to be all jewels. Nothing fake on it. Keep going. And earrings. In thy ear, the sisters, you know you all like them big earrings. Y'all like to let them earrings flow. I love it when I see y'all with them earrings, especially with the name in it. I love that right there. But the Lord, that's the, that's the, that's the style that the Lord put on you. You hear me, sister? And a beautiful crown upon thine head. See, I'm practicing right now. I'm practicing right now what the Lord got for us and what he did for us. We done fell out of our culture. We out here wearing skinny jeans like women. We out here wearing purses like women. When the Lord made us masculine and put drip on us and had crowns in our head. These days we wear what they wear. Keep going. Verse 13. Thus was thou decked with gold and silver. Y'all get the point. Y'all get the point. Get me. Get me John 4 and 22. Like I was saying, we should have all the pride in the world to stop being like these heathens because the Lord made us better. He gave made our drip better. He naturally made it so we want to shine and put on, put on jewelry. Whereas you look around, look at our press and the rest of these heathens. They look as bland as you can be. They everything they wear, we wear better than them. We do everything that we do better than them. Whereas athletically, when it comes down to, when it comes down to, uh, 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 in the classroom, we dog it. But the, the reason why we not, we don't excel in the classroom the majority of the time is because we not interested because we got so much stress at home. Our environments are so filled with stress and depression that we, I, we think we don't have time to learn in the white man's, in the white man's, uh, uh, um, school system. But other than that, when we do apply ourselves, look up the, the, the highest IQ in the world. It's a black girl. Look up the highest IQ in around the world, and, and it's us. We do everything better. Very proud in that black man, Latino man, Native American man. You better than everybody. You got that scripture? John chapter 4, verse 22. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Salvation is of the Jews. I told you we would get to it. I told you the true Jews are right here on this board. But the go live got all eyes on me. Give a damn what they talk about, got soldiers ride with me. And they know I'm lethal. I got my reach. Said I was gonna get it. Get it. They gon' see, but they ain't gon' believe. Can't stop, I can't now. Hold on, let me get the breakdown. Train and go like a cane now. I'm about to let my light shine. We piped up till the pipe down. These niggas selling pipe dreams. Baby girl, you sweet as ice cream. And I need, you better believe. Sit back, look at my cheeks. Why you had to check my demeanor? Competition ain't creeps. I'm about to take him to the clinic. They gon' get stars depressed. Feeling I start no mess. These niggas pretty, pretty, and I'm not impressed. I have him holding his chest. Like he having heart attacks. Told you I'm hard to death. 
I know that they see it, but they don't believe. Look at them so misleading. 144, Michigan Peak. We undefeated. 